Today we're going to be installing uh, the top case or the rack for the top case on the uh, on the Tiger. Uh, this time I opted to get the M7 uh, top plate here from Jivi uh, instead of uh, something looking like this. This is the RS and this has a universal uh, monokey top, uh, top plate for my uh, V47 top box. And uh, the one that was on the tracer was a metal one. This is plastic and this has held up quite well uh, over the years. And um, so that's why this time I decided uh, to give this one here a try, largely because the shape is very similar to the shape of the, the rack on the, on the Tiger. So uh, this is basically how it's going to be installed. Now the thing is, it's going to be kind of high, uh, which is uh, right now the bike is on the center stand, so it's not this high in real life. But uh, yeah. To mount on this rack here, you can see underneath is hollow, so uh, it can't sit, you know, flat on on the Tiger's uh, rack. So I had to get, and it it, it is uh, specified that you get uh, rails or a little bracket here, an adjusting bracket here to mount onto this. But what comes with the M7 uh, monokey um, uh, plate is just. A couple of pages parts list simple simple instruction here looks like that it's just a few bolts you just bolt it onto whatever uh, rack that you get and the rack is is this stuff the rack consists of a couple of brackets like I mentioned uh, they're heavy gauge metal brackets actually and some hardware here as well so and that comes also with some instructions so the first thing to do is to mount this on the on the uh, Tiger's uh, rack and then to mount this to that. A couple of sheets of uh, paper in the package, instructions and a guarantee there. And as you can see from this, uh, the parts that I've got are a couple of brackets, um, four, four long screws, two sets of four washers and some spacers. Uh, if you look carefully here, you'll see 20 millimeters and 21 millimeters so there are different spacers but everything else is identical so looking at this here um, you could tell I don't know if you can see but I've just arranged it so I've got the shorter spacers on the left and the taller ones on the right and they're <laughs> one millimeter different so what you do is you remove uh, remove the bolts from the the Triumph uh, rack and then you install uh, these these two rails here you install the two rails on top of the rack and the taller it looks like the taller of the two uh, spacers the taller spacers go in front and this shape is going to be such that it goes like this looking towards the rear of the bike I think this is how it's supposed to go if you look at that instruction there and that makes sense because this will push the top box back and you'll get a little bit more space well the bolts are out and they're 12 millimeter uh, uh, screws and um, they're going to be replaced by these bolts here or these screws I should say and uh, and these spacers and washers so I'm going to go ahead on the bike and put that in there's the the rack is in place on top of the triumph rack and um, these here uh, they, they specified that you use a little allen key to tighten those and they didn't specify a torque so uh, <laughs> I'll be able to put a lot more torque on this so given that they specify a little allen key I think that it's just uh, you know a wrist tight uh, that's uh, that's all that's needed here the screws that came out of there weren't very tight so I'm not gonna tighten these very tight uh, I'm gonna just do wrist tight so that's it just wrist tight on the top here just just a little like that and that's it so now 
I go and I laid out my uh, my bits for the top plate and um, I'm gonna put that on now uh, remembering it comes with six of these little caps so as you can see here the caps go on the screws out there they're installed and the little washers on top underneath the, the head of the screw and underneath there's the big washer here and the the lock nut the nylock nut and there it is installed uh, it's higher than the RS <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it's gonna be kind of like I'm gonna put the box on just now and let's see how high it is but uh, yeah it stands off a bit from the Triumph uh, rack because of these rails here uh, it must raise it up because this is hollow underneath and that's necessarily so to hide hide some of the screws at least uh, the back screws but these screws here are kind of like in the open but they'll be hidden by the top box and then these little caps go on but they're kind of hard and very snug fit so I got my mallet here and I'm gonna give it a little whack and uh, hopefully it doesn't mar the surface just like that just a little whack and drive them down that's just to finish to put a little finish on the thing and uh, it does mar the surface a little bit but do I care it's just a top box rack um, and there it is so let's get the top box and put it on now and see how it uh, how it looks well there it is um, it is a quite a bit uh, well a little bit taller than this uh, this rack on the RS uh, it's a bit taller but I think that uh, maybe my wife will will be pleased at the height because then this pad is a little bit higher up in her back um, maybe this weekend she'll go for her first ride on the tiger uh, we'll see how that works but uh, this is me I'm holding I'm holding the uh, the camera at chest level and you can see where this is I'm five foot eight and uh, the top of this box is probably close to five feet from the ground <laughs> so pretty tall this top box was shared by the tracer and the RS and now it's being shared by the by the tiger and the RS same good old GV top box